What is going on everybody on YouTube, Max Rock here with a brand new video and this is going to be a speed test between the iPhone SE and the Motorola G5 Plus. Now with both of these devices here, they aren't spec exactly the same, but both of these phones are pretty fast in their own right. So what I'm going to do differently here, I'm not going to show you guys the CPU-Z or the Geekbench scores or uh, 2 2 benchmark or anything like that. What I'm going to do is just jump straight into the test. And so you guys will be able to judge based off that there because obviously both phones aren't spec the same, but they do have a good amount of power. So without any further ado, no more talking, let's get started. So the first app we're gonna open up here is YouTube. So three, two, one. All right, that goes to the Motorola G5 Plus there. Next app we're gonna open up is uh, the App Store and the Play Store here. So three, two, one. Okay, that went to the iPhone. Next app we're gonna open up is Tidal, so three, two, one. I'm gonna give that to the G5 Plus there. Uh, next app that we're gonna open up is, uh, let's do Twitter. So three, two, one. Tell me, you know, iPhones are usually fast, but maybe because this is a, a A9 processor, Mm. But it's still a pretty fast phone though. So uh, we're gonna do Google Plus next. So three, two, one. All right, that went to the iPhone there. So the iPhone came back with a W there. We're gonna do SoundCloud next. So three, two, one. That goes to the Motorola G5 Plus. All right, so the next app we're gonna open up is Instagram. So three, two, one. Okay, that goes to the G5 there. So the next app we're gonna open up here is Twitch. So three, two, one. All right, that goes to the Motorola G5 Plus there. And the next app that we can do, let's see which one pulls up the camera first. So three, two, one. Oh yeah, it goes to the iPhone. All right, let's see. Next app we can do is Amazon. So three, two, one. Next app we're gonna do here is Best Buy, so three, two, one. Wow, and the Motorola G5 Plus actually ended up opening up most of the applications quicker than the iPhone SE. Now the iPhone SE is a two year old phone, but the A9 chip in there is pretty fast and it's, it's, pre it's basically a pretty powerful chip. It's still good to this day in my opinion. Now, one thing or one way the iPhone SE may actually end up winning is because of its RAM management. Um, iOS usually has better RAM management simply because each and every app is optimized for the OS. With the application being more optimized, it doesn't have to use it as many resources to be held in the background. So they'll have to use less RAM versus a lot of applications on Android probably having to use more RAM. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and do a RAM management test here. Three, two, one. Okay, they both have that in the background, no problem. Yep, I have that in the background. That was the Play Store and the App Store. Uh, some title. Neither one I had to reload. Go over to Twitter now. So, three, two, one. Both held in no problem. Google Plus, both held in no problem. Both held in no problem. Instagram both held it. Neither one of these phones are slouches here. That's the thing. Everyday tasks, they're gonna like kill it in. Amazon. So, honestly, this test here was just really more for, I'm gonna have to give it to the G5 there. This test is just more fun than anything. Um, obviously, these two phones are very different. One has 64 gigs internal storage, four gigs of RAM, has an octa-core processor versus the A9 being a what? I think it's a dual core, either a dual core or a quad core chipset. So it was pretty much outclassed there, but we all know that iOS doesn't need too much power to be fast, uh, to be faster than most Androids. So we did put the iPhone SE up against the Motorola G5 Plus. What I'm gonna do now, I'm thinking about putting it up against some other devices like the Motorola E4, maybe even the Tribute. It just all depends if it makes sense. If you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments. If you wanna see 
anything else specific with the iPhone SE here, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do that video for you. But until then, I want to say thank you for watching the video. As you know, my name is Max Rock, and you have a good day. Deuces.